Season 8 update is out for all of the COD Mobile versions and data miners already did their job. They provided us all of the leaks and in this video I'm going to show you Season 8 Battle Pass Tier 1 to Tier 50, all of the major rewards 360 look. And even in this video I'm going to cover Ground Forces subscription rewards as well. We are getting new Park skin and new AK-47 skin. I'm going to show you both of them further in this video. By the way, it's me Gamerspot. If you're new to this channel, drop a like and you already know what you have to do. Do subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell. Alright. Right, let's have a quick overview at the battle pass rewards starting from the characters we have three female characters one male character the first female character is vanguard nocturnal elite second is misty undercover agent third is crf double agent and the male character is adler dapper not sure about the characters but battle pass blueprints are damn good this time the first is m13 covert canopy zrg20 mmj cbr aqua leviathan and S36 winged stringer. The fifth battle pass skin is M4 Prince of Time. Yeah, don't panic, we are getting this M4 skin in regular battle pass and only two rewards in subscription, Park Double Agent and AK-47 Monster Crash. All right, enough talking, now let's move on to the major leak. So the first character, CRF Double Agent. This time I am kind of satisfied with the battle pass characters because they are stealth looking, they don't have sharp colors on their outfit, all of the colors are basic like black, white, brown, you know what I'm saying. Perfect for hiding and especially for campers in ranked mode. This is the first character, CRF double agent. I like the character though but not actually impressed, 3 out of 5. Because the detailing and the patterns on her outfits are kind of messed up and personally I didn't like this character much. Second female character is Vanguard Nocturnal Elite and that's what I was talking about guys, look at her outfit pretty clean and basic. Developers have focused on her outfit very much and I'm pretty liking the texture on her. I still remember the first character of Vanguard and here is she now, she literally evolved and she's the advanced looking version of Vanguard. I love this character because the outfit of her is pretty fit, slim fit outfit not baggy type and this is giving me perfect stealth looking vibes. The next female character is Misty, damn I'm speechless. When we got first battle pass teasers 2 or 3 days ago, according to data miners, it was planned for subscription basis but COD Mobile devs decided to add this character in regular battle pass and I think they made a right decision. Misty Undercover Agent is her name and this outfit is completely resembling her name. I like this character a lot but if we compare it with Vanguard Nocturnal Elite, she kind of lacks but still better than CRF 4 out of 5. Last and the only male character of this battle pass, Adler Dapper, is in the house and Adler is professional. I mean his hairstyle, his swag, each and everything is top notch. He is a handsome man and in this outfit he is looking professional. I like Adler, I like his face, aggressive and straight to the point kind of guy and I pretty love this skin and it's also the only male skin in this battle pass so for sure 5 out of 5. Which character you like the most do let me know in the comments down below and after that subscription character park double agent wish call of duty mobile provide this character in place of crf i wanted this character so badly but unfortunately it's not going to happen now it's confirmed that she is going to be the part of subscription basis and are you going to buy subscription variant of battle pass do let me know in the comments and do let me know is it worth it or not by the way she's looking cool the long coat the collar each and everything i love this character Alright that's it for the character leaks, now it's time for weapon blueprints. The first one is CBR4 Aqua Leviathan and it's 5 out of 5 massive looking skin. Literally I'm shocked this skin is so beautiful and we are getting it in battle pass and the weapon selection is on the point. CBR4 the best SMG and it's epic blueprint. In battle pass it's cherry on top. Look at the geometry, the color combination, each and everything is on point but sadly you are not getting custom iron sight on this weapon blueprint but I think it's not the problem because CBR4 iron sight is already clean and it's pretty easy to use so I think it's worth it guys. The skin is looking amazing. Hey, the FPP view, the look of iron sight and reloading animation. I personally like this skin. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. The second skin is S36 Winged Stringer. I am not fan of LMG weapons but this skin is looking decent to me. 
the stock part of this weapon is a disappointment by the way if you equip completionist camo on this epic blueprint it is completely going to be a default version of s36 i'll show you all of the completionist camo view further in this video by the way almost all of the weapons have default iron side nothing impressive changes were made on the iron side of these battle pass weapon blueprints and even in fpv view and while reloading this weapon blueprint is looking kind of default version so i am rating this skin 2 out of 5 it's completely trash skin to me but what are your opinions do let me know because your opinion matters the most to me but not going to lie trust me this skin is not looking that impressive The next is M4 Prince of Time, finally after a long time we are getting M4 weapon blueprint in the battle pass. Trust me this skin is giving me vibes of season 6 cowboy theme you know. This weapon blueprint is going with that season theme. Royal wouldn't work on the stock and the mag part of this weapon blueprint and leather type finish at the front part of this weapon. With usage of gold at some part of this blueprint is giving it a royal touch. But in FPP view it looks trash. <laughs> Lol man I'm just kidding. Yeah it looks kind of average we can't say it's impressive. Developers could have used some interesting and impressive bright colors but this color combination combination brown and black is just making it a default version of m4 if you don't trust me have a look at the reloading animation see guys it's looking the default version of m4 but i'm not complaining 2 out of 5 skin the next is m13 covered canopy and this is the best weapon blueprint in this entire battle pass i think developers majorly focused only on this m13 skin and they ignored rest of the skins except that cbr4 the umbrella design of this m13 weapon is making it stealthy not going to lie the geometry of this weapon is impressive 5 out of 5 skin the color combination the idea and the iron side this is the only weapon by the way which has custom iron side in this entire battle pass rest of the blueprints have default iron side only this m13 weapon skin has custom iron side and this is the best weapon blueprint in this entire battle pass not going to lie the battle pass is not that impressive it's kind of seven and a half eight out of ten rating battle pass because some of the weapon blueprints and that CRF character by the way it's my personal rating let me know your ratings in the comment and the tier 50 skin ZRG20 MMG8 here it is it looks way different from the default version the stock part and the scope the geometry is changed basic and single color is used green on black but geometry of this weapon blueprint is the thing which is making it an interesting blueprint better than M4 skin and anyways it is a new weapon so for sure 5 out of 5 here is the gameplay by the way the gameplay play and the first look of the scope. Up next we have emote of this battle pass, balloon escape, the emote is very creative and funny, I like this emote. I don't know about blueprints and characters but for sure we are getting amazing emotes in battle pass nowadays. And the backpack of this battle pass is going to impress you for sure because you are getting completely futuristic jetpack type looking backpack and even the name of this backpack is jetpack. What the f*** that rhymes man. Sorry for using customer but that was all of a sudden and yeah. By the way, this is backpack from subscription battle pass. And these are the premium rewards if you purchase battle pass plus subscription. You are going to get foldable knife, new calling card, avatar frame with new avatar and parachute. That's wrap to this video guys, I hope you enjoyed, do let me know in the comments, did you like the battle pass or not, drop a like, share this video and drop a subscribe, please we are close to 45,000 subscribers, till then take care, peace.